Today I'll be talking about how Thrawn has his doubts that clones may betray the Jedi. Before we dive into the main content, let me give you the context. This story is set from the novel Thrawn Alliances by Timothy Zahn. The story is set in the Imperial era, but there are a lot of flashback scenes involving Anakin and Thrawn in the story. In the flashback, Anakin goes off to find and rescue Padme, who is lost somewhere near the planet called Batu. He forms an unlikely alliance with Thrawn, who is on a mission from the Chiss Ascendancy. They both find Padme in the planet Mokirch where the separatists are building B2 battle droids with armor made out of cortosis. Cortosis is a material which is lightsaber resistant. Mind you, lightsaber resistant. It was a material which was introduced back in the story I Jedi in the legends. Cortosis material also made an interesting appearance in the novel called Darth Bane Path of Destruction where Bane was a cortosis miner named Dessel before he went to become the Dark Lord of the Sith. Interestingly, we find that the separatists are building Cortosis armor for the clone troopers. We all know Order 66 where the clones kill the Jedi. This factory was building Cortosis armor for the clones in case Order 66 had a problem. This operation was directly commissioned by Palpatine as a contingency plan. Anakin, Padme and Thrawn end up destroying the factory and the mines. However, Anakin believes that Cortosis armor for the clones are to infiltrate the Senate and the government. But Thrawn's genius tells otherwise. While they were about to leave the planet, Thrawn tells Anakin and Padme the following. Thrawn says, One final thought. I'm concerned by your suggestion that the separatists plan to infiltrate your government offices disguised in enhanced clone armor. Successful attacks of that sort generally require numbers that the separatists will have difficulty placing into position. And then Padme says, there are a lot of clones wandering around the Senate and the Chancellery. And then Thrawn points out, but a single massive infiltration draws attention. While gradual infiltration holds the risk of premature discovery, I cannot help but wonder if the armor is intended for some other purpose. And then Anakin says, it's no longer relevant. But Thrawn says, still, it would be wise to think on it general. It only makes us wonder if Anakin and Padme could have figured out what Thrawn was saying. They could have really saved the Jedi Order from extinction. Hope you had fun with this exciting piece of story.